Amina. Tuangere kandi haleluya. When the Holy Spirit is upon us, when the Holy Spirit is upon us, we share the sorrow, the pain with Him. What saddens the Holy Spirit is what saddens you as well. The Holy Spirit that we have been filled that causes us not to be saddened by those who are perishing. We live a life without a heart of God. When the Holy Spirit talked to me, he said, some of us need to have the hands of God. The hands of the People are more concerned about having the hands of God that perform miracles. Others want to have the mouth of God to commend something and it comes to pass. How many wish to have the heart of God? The heart of God. To a point where they say what saddens God is what saddens me. And say the, the sadness that God has is the one I have. God is saddened by those who don't know him. <laughs> the joy that we share those of heaven. Do you see the joy we just share? El Shaddai. El Shaddai. How we were singing. How Shekina sings. In heaven they worship. But they say when one person is saved. In heaven they call each other. Are you there? Are you there? Come let's rejoice. There's one servant. There's one person who is saved. There is celebration for one person who is saved. Not one who just got married. Not one who just finished construction of a house. There's a joy we have within ourselves, but there's one that we share with God. The joy that we share with God is to bring one person to Christ. There are three people we need to evangelize to. Three people we need to take the gospel to. In the book of Luke chapter 15, the Bible tells us three people who need to hear the good news. Three people who need the good news. And Jesus gives us a he said, the kingdom of God is comparable. The kingdom of God is comparable. Like a lost coin. As a last coin. Is there somebody with a coin? Is there somebody with a coin? Give me a coin, please. <laughs> God bless you. He says the first people who are lost are comparable. Who are lost coin. They are like this coin. A lost coin. But the owner is looking for it. The owner cannot find it. And it's lost. This coin doesn't know it's lost. This coin doesn't know I'm looking for it. This coin doesn't know its value. And he told them the first type of people. I went to preach somewhere. I was in the desert. And when I got there, I told them Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Do you know Jesus? I was in the, Sahara, in the Sahara Desert. And they told me, Is he the chief of your village? And I had tears in my eyes. This is the only thing that causes me to shed tears. When I, when I think that I have salvation and that those who don't have any. 
nigeze kumara igihe nza nsanga bahinga kazingi pantaro ngafata isuka ngahinga nasanga babumba matofari mu cyari yo ngiyo ngakatigitaka nkavuga ngo turajya kumara kumba matofari maze kukubwiriza wakije turajya guhinga tugire hariya umaze kumva neza we'll go farming when you have really understood about jesus nigeze gusubira yo abantu nabwirije and i went back there somebody had evangelized me umugabo ngarahaguruka bahise batangira urusengero bari bamaze gukizwa because they had started a church those who were saved i went to visit them umugabo umwe arahaguruka aravuga ngo aracumugara and one man stood up gucumugara ntabwo nari nzi ico bivuga mu kinyarwanda arahaguruka ngo aracumugara arahaguruka haguruka aravuga ngo arashima imana and he stood up and say he blesses god ngo kuko yabonye umuntu wamuhaye ubuzima because he met somebody who gave him life turicara twese ntegereza ntegereza baravuga ngo umuntu ngo twese turicara uwo muntu nahaguruka for me it looked i had never seen him before he said you found me making bricks and we made bricks together i wasn't there but you see how do you see that man look look this is where it came from this man showed me You don't even show joy. There is no joy in my heart. And you said this year. Only I will bring one person. A lost coin. Gicheri nta makuru gifite. Abanye Sudani najyagayo nta makuru bafite ko bazimiye. In Sudan when I went to see them they didn't know they were lost. Nasanze bagira imana. Imana yo kurinda abana. They had their gods. Imana yo kumubonera umuhigo. I got to fulfill their wishes or target. Imana yo kubarinda ninjoro bagiye kurya. I got to protect them when they go to sleep at night. Yava guhiga after after chasing animals imana yambere akayigaburira they come feed the first god akagaburira ya kabiri the second god akagaburira ya gatatu and the third god bakaryama and they will sleep bamara kuryama after they sleep kuko yari yiriwe guhiga because they have been the whole day kuri zanyama yazanye hunting nizo ya hayima nayi the bring the meat ijoro ryaba and the night comes imbwa zikazirya the, the dogs will eat the meat gacha mu gitondo agasanga zanyama ntazihari and in the morning my God has eaten. They're not far. This is the first of When you go in to find them, they don't know us. What problem do we have? For you to tell them you came to find them. So that you tell them the news of Jesus Christ. To tell them their value. Their worth. It's a lost coin. The second type of people. Jesus gave us a parable. They said there was a lost sheep. A lost sheep. A lost sheep. Knows that they're lost. And start to go. And goes. Shall we? And when he goes doing that, he doesn't know the way back home. But he knows it's no longer with the other sheep. He knows it's not with the other ships. It comes and shout. Those. They're your neighbors. Those ones. You live with them. They're like lost ships. The day you come next to them, and you tell them this is the way back to them, you live with them in, this, in the neighborhood. The third is the lost son. Those three parables, they're in Luke chapter 15. What was wrong with the lost son? He said, give me my share, my portion. I'm going. 
what happened where he was Urabis. He, you know what happened so that was the issue with the lost tongue he had the issue if I go back to my father him he doesn't know the, he doesn't have an issue of the way. he knows his father and he knows the way back home but he has no hope to be reinstated as a child he has no hope so he wants someone to tell if you come back to the father you can be the child again don't you know someone like that you live with? Didn't you sing with those people? Didn't you study with them in high school? Don't you work with them? They tell you I used to be a singer. I used to be in the choir. And they tell you, but what I have no hope that I will be a son again. Who is willing to uh, stretch their hands? Who is willing to stretch their hands to tell them you can come back to the Father and be reinstated? Because it is evangelism, so please bear with these news I'm sharing. Do we, do we, are we rejoicing when we hear such news? Can we say amen? We like to say amen when we are receiving miracles. Amen. Amen. Those are waiting people. Those people are waiting for you. I went to the border of Kenya and Tanzania and found a group of people called the Masai. When I was preaching to one of them, there's come somebody on a, on a bike. He had come to put fuel up. And he saw I was preaching to his friend. He left. He continued. And when he came back, and he found I was preaching to somebody else. He left again, continued his. And it was noon. Then, he found that I was at the restaurant feeding them so I could evangelize to them. He told me, I couldn't resist. It's the third time I was running away from you, but now I can't. Let me sit down and tell you the news. I found you there at first, but I ran away. The second time, I also ran away. But now here, there's no way I'm running away. Let me tell you what happened to me. I used to be in the church. I was a member of the choir. And he told me so on and so on. And he so on and so on. And he so on and so on. Probably you came just for me. And he knelt, he got on his knees and got saved. Sometimes you think there are things that require lots of strength. No. In your home cell, it doesn't require strength. Maybe in Rwanda, we, there are people who have not heard Jesus. But we live with lost sheep. We live with lost sons who used to be in the church. But they tell you, I used to be Christian. I used to be saved. I'm rushing. There are three things that causes us to restrain ourselves. There are three things that causes you to restrain yourself. The first one. The first one. <laughs> Your position is over. Position yawe iri hejuru ya passion yawe uzamenya kufite ingorane. When you find in your life that your title or position is above your passion, there is an issue whatever they call you. Never allow your position yawe your position ija hejuru ya passion yawe to be above your passion. Amen. Let me repeat that whatever you may be called. Because one of the things that causes people to keep quiet when your position is overcome by your passion. When your position is overcome by your passion. When your position is passion. When your position is passion. When your position is passion. 
when you who you are or what you are called has stranded or struggled ntabwo bikidukundira uwo ndiwe ntabwo bigikunda so who i am does not allow me anymore never allow that because your position do you get are you following are you following Mujya mugira ngo nokubera ki Yesu atasiza ama position mu bigishwa be. Wewe uri mukuru na urakwikira. Wewe uri wewe uri. What do you think Jesus never gave titles to his disciples? Ibintu byaduse muri iki gihe. But what's happening today? Ibitugu byarazamutse. We like to be honored a certain way. Abantu basigaye bagendera ku biri namaboko ugasanga amaboko aragendera hariya nawe akagendera hano. Kubera ico bamubiye ngo yitwa cyo. Amaboko ari hariya. You find people walking a funny way because of who their title is position the position position the title buri gihe every time your position yabaye hejuru when the title is above or overcomes your passion you keep quiet tujya ducecheka we keep quiet yikiri imbere muri twebwe when it's above or over us cyo witwa cyo uzareke buri gihe umutwara ube hejuru ibindi byose let the passion or the burden Jesus never told his Peter we ni wewe ubaye bishop apotre revera no he didn't say any of that no he gave a, he gave, he left them with a heavy burden he said as just like the father sent me nambutse nire rimwe ndimo kurira ariko ndimo ndikurira mfite indirimbo mu mutima ivuga ngo turashima imana yuko twavukiye ku ngoma y'umwami Yesu ngo yo tuvukira ku ngoma ya satani ngo tuba twihebye cyane nambuka nari ntandukanye naba mama bakijijwe i just left a group of women who were saved aha nuko nkengera ku nkengero za za nire bari mu kusezera barambira ngo barambira ngo pastor ngo dusize pastor where are you leaving us uwo munsi hari hashize iminsi mikeya It had been a few days when I had gone to preach to them. I came back with a bag. The black bag, plastic bag. I came with a black bag belonging to a sorcerer. Because I didn't kutere hano nageza indirimbo yari yadutse ngo uri namba 1 abagabo barutana narabibonye mu minsi tatu gusa satana yamandiko uri namba 1 uri namba 1 shashi yuzu yuburose i had a bag a plastic bag full of witchcraft iyo umuntu yahaye kristo ubuzima bwe when you given your life to christ ibindi byose urabireka everything else you give up mugore yageza byuka ntuka mu gitondo muri sudana akavuga akababwira ngo uriya yaje kubwiriza kabibiriya akabaga hano mu mfuka wenyine this one came to preach uriya yaje abwiriza he came to preach kamwe mama twe ngo tarimo kumwumva ari kubwiriza yaje abwiriza i would ignore him as it she was shout again this man came to evangelize umuntu umwe arambira ngo naryamye ninjoro ndakurota and one day she told me i went to bed last night and dreamt about you naryamye ndo turimo kumwiriza none ndashaka gukiza I slept and I had a dream you were preaching to me and now I want to be saved. So she called me come I want to be saved. They're waiting for us. Randans, our fellow Randans are waiting for us. The neighbors are waiting for you that's why you you stay stay there. There. It's for your neighbors to know Christ. Don't think you're living there by coincidence. It's not a coincidence. No, it's not a coincidence. Don't allow your position to overcome your passion. Because every time the position comes to shut you. The second The second that causes people to keep quiet is whatever is when we do something expecting a reward a profit what's in it for me what's in it for me if i do so 
those are the people of this time. You tell them, let's go preach, and you're like, what's in it for me? Is there anything for me? Is there any profit for me? How do you ask, is there something for me? Let me tell you this. God will not reward us for what we do here. These are things that have been preached to us a long time ago. They say if we serve the, the world, it will pay us. I say the world, the things we do here on this world God will reward the motive behind your action. What you went to do it, what was the motive behind? That's what God will reward. Amen. Because there are people who do it for the pastor to if see them. Them. If you do it for your pastor to see you, you have gotten the reward. But what is the motive behind? What pushes you to do it? Be patient. 2014. I went to Juba, I only had 2,000 francs. 2,000 francs. One francs. The car where I was, I saw a pastor who had yeah. a rolled collar. And my heart say, oh, this is somebody who's going to host you. I only had 2,000 francs in my pocket. And I had to leave. I had to come back to Rwanda. But I only had 2,000 francs. And I had to leave. So when I saw a pastor, I said, God makes a way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's like a story. It's like a story. But it's life. Life. Let's not look for profit in what we do. There's no profit beyond the life intercedes through us. And the third, the third, wrong motivation. The wrong motive. The wrong motive. What makes you go do it? Why are you the one preaching? Why? Why do we have to preach the gospel in the home sales? Where we live, Why? Let me talk about these four things. Because it's your responsibility. It's your assignment. The reason you need to do so is because it's your assignment. God is not lacking worshippers. Uh -huh. <laughs> God does not have a shortage of worshippers. God, God does not have a shortage of worshippers. He does not have a shortage of worshippers. But God has a shortage of saved people. I repeat that. God, the heart of God, does not have a shortage of worshippers. 
But the heart of God is crying, looking for one person to be saved. Who can partner with God? For God is ready to strengthen you. <laughs> God is ready to strengthen you for those who are ready to preach the gospel. God is ready to dispatch power. We spend time and say, God, you're powerful. God, give us power. What are you asking power for? What have you done with the power he has given you? He's ready to empower those who are ready to go preach. Are you ready to go serve? Power is pending up here. God is ready to release power. It's an assignment. The second. It's a debt. It's a debt. Paul said, I am indebted. I am indebted. I am indebted. No other debt is to speak the gospel. For those in Rome, I am indebted to you, those in Rome. Always go within your heart, tell yourself you, have, you are indebted. <laughs> In your heart, say, I have a debt I need to pay. Whether you like to hear it or not, you have a debt you need to pay. He says, I am indebted. I am indebted and I need and to pay. And there is no other debt. It's to preach the gospel to those in Rome. Those in this neighborhood. Those in Kimisagara. It's a debt you need to pay. Whether you keep quiet. But the day you be before the Lord, you ask you, did you pay your debt? That was your assignment. Your debt was to continue the work of Christ. Pay. Pay. That's a debt. It's a debt we owe. The third thing. The third. The third. Is our calling. Paul wrote to the Corinthians four, right? Four letters. But we only read two. We read the second and the fourth. In the second book, he wrote the second letter he wrote to them. He says, God is faithful. Chapter 1, verse 5. God is faithful. Then his calling. There's a general call that God is calling. It's not for singers. It's not for the pastor. It's not for mothers. It's for mothers. For mothers. It's for singers as well. God is faithful. Him who has called us, called us to partner. People always say, I don't know what's my calling. When I teach about calling, people say, how do you know your calling? One thing, we were all being called to partner with his son. What do we partner with him? Chapter eight. God who has united us through Christ through Christ so we are united with Christ and where Jesus was he said you also have become who I was I have united men and human Man and God. Before you think that you are a singer, your call is to be a pastor. But the general call is to partner with his son. The last thing, 
the last thing. When we don't do it, it's a curse on us. It's a curse. Nishano. Niko Paolo yavuze. Arababwira ngo nishano kuri nje ngo ninda mu kanabwirije ubutumwa ngo nabo nishano. If I don't put the gospel, what unto me? What unto me? It's an issue. 